white fathers are petrified. That when and if their daughters date black boys, she's going to blast it all over social media, guys. She'll post pictures, she'll post videos, and anything she can think of to tell the world about her boyfriend. Now, to be fair, she'd be doing this anyway, regardless of her boyfriend's race. But it's the black boys that her dad wants her not to broadcast. Let's not get it twisted here. In a white father's mind, this reflects poorly on him. Like most people, yours truly had a high school sweetheart. Her name was Jill. She was very pretty, extremely smart, and she loved her some Donovan. But there was one thing about her that my mother didn't like, and she never failed to mention it whenever she could. Jill was a white girl. Jill had long blonde hair, big pretty green eyes, and as you can imagine, Jill's father wasn't too keen on our relationship either. And he was always in Jill's ear about it as much as, her, as much as my mom nagged me about her. Now that I'm more than, what, two decades away, a little more than 20 years removed from that relationship, which, by the way, lasted into my college years, and I look back on it, <clears throat> I notice something. Jill's mother and my father didn't really have much to say about it. Maybe they approved. Maybe they didn't. But they were noticeably silent during the whole thing. Now, let's not kid ourselves here, gentlemen. There are many interracial relationships in the world, but the ones that are the most polarizing are the ones between black males and white females. Let's just call it what it is. But the thing is, most people who seem to have a problem with it are black women just like are white men and black women, just like Jill's father and my mother. And if you pay attention, you'll also notice that in high school, okay, high school aged interracial relationships, the battle lines are drawn much the same way. White fathers and black mothers are almost always the most vehement dissenters when their daughters date their black sons, when their white daughters date their black sons. So now the question becomes, why is this? Why is it that black mothers, that white mothers and black fathers stay comparatively silent while their spouses raise hell about it? Well, tonight, I'm going to break this down from each parent's point of view and tell you what either parent is afraid to say or admit out loud. Okay, so we're going to start off with white fathers. Uh, my bad for that... Um, for that uh, snafu. Now, when Devin and I first started talking, she told me that if I were to meet her parents, that they would love me and they would have no problem with our relationship. Okay? She said that they'd give us their blessing and would be perfectly okay with us, to which I responded, of course they don't have a problem with me being black. You're past the wall. And the funny thing is, Okay, she laughed and said, God damn, you're harsh. But she knew I was right. Because right after she told me that, she then told me if we were dating in high school, it would be a very different story with her father. Regardless of race, gentlemen, women of all races are the most sexually viable during their fertile years. I would say between, what, 18 and 26 years old, give or take. Now, Devin and her father both know that she's not nearly as valuable as she was 10, 15 years ago. So he's not as protective of her as she once was. Devin's 34, she'll be 35 next month. Guess what? Back when she was 20, she's, she was a lot hotter. I've seen pictures. When she was 25, she was hot. Okay? Now, of course, she's a grown woman. She doesn't live at home anymore which are both factors in terms of why her father doesn't feel the need to protect her anymore. But the fact remains that because she's not in her prime, her father is much less invasive with regards to her relationship with me. But for pretty young white girls who are in their sexual primes, there are three main reasons 
white fathers are strongly opposed to their daughters dating black boys. No, it has nothing. Some of it might have to do with the fact that they are racist, but that seems to be the obvious thing. But I'm going to point out three. Three reasons why white fathers have a problem with their young teenage daughters dating black boys. Oh, thank you. Can you bring me a bottle of water too? Oh my God. I've got a splitting headache and Devin just came to the rescue with a 200 count bottle of Advil. So, whew, thank God. Number one, reputation. Gentlemen, white fathers are petrified that when and if their daughters date black boys or starting to date black boys, she will, dude, she'll blast it all over social media. White fathers are petrified that when and if their daughters date black boys, she's going to blast it all over social media, guys. She'll post pictures, she'll post videos, and anything she can think of to tell the world about her boyfriend. Now, to be fair, she'd be doing this anyway, regardless of her boyfriend's race. But it's the black boys that her dad wants her not to broadcast. Let's not get it twisted here. In a white father's mind, this reflects poorly on him. His friends and family will indirectly wonder, well, where did he go wrong with her? Yes, gentlemen, this really happens. Number two, he knows that white boys are going to stay away. Let's not beat around the bush here, guys. White fathers know that if his daughter gets a reputation for dating black boys, white boys will stay away from her. And if she continues her interracial dating ways, she will likely never have a relationship of consequence with a strong, high-value, masculine white male. Because again, he knows that white men, consider most white men, consider commingling with black men as a deal breaker when it comes to dating, marrying, and sometimes even white women. Straight up. Ray and PG says he loved bringing the white girls home. So did your boy. Number three. If she has a mixed kid, dad knows her options for a long-term relationship down the road are limited to just black men or weak white men, neither of which, in his mind, are good options for his kid. I want you guys to keep in mind that just because a white father doesn't want his daughter to date black boys doesn't make him a racist. Now, it could certainly be a strong indicator, but this isn't the way to judge that one way or the other. Are you almost done? The truth is, guys, fathers are keenly aware of the sexual marketplace, and he knows that if his daughter has a reputation for dating black guys, the only way she'll be able to consolidate on a white male is to move out of town and delete all of her social media accounts. Which, by the way, a lot of white girls do when they've hit the wall and don't want anyone to know about her extended ride on the dark side carousel. I mentioned in a previous episode a while back that once you go black, you can't go back. White fathers know this to be true, gentlemen. White girls, unfortunately, figure this out much later, and by then, it's much too late, which is the main reason why white fathers forbid borderline forbid their daughters from dating black boys, which only makes them want to date them more.